it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you guys. I've picked up uh, several things in the last week and a half, or several orders have come in the last week and a half that I thought I'd share with you guys. Um, I'm going to jump right in. The first order I got was from Lawn Fawn. And um, if you guys didn't see my Instagram post a couple days ago, there's something really exciting happening with Lawn Fawn. And I can't give any more details just yet, unfortunately, but it will be announced very soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I did pick up a couple things from them. Um, first off, I wanted to try some of the new inks that they came out with at CHA. So I got the Bubblegum and the Minty Fresh. I've already used the bubble gum. It's a beautiful pink. It's a really, really pretty color. Um, so I'll show those in videos soon too, both of them. I also did pick up uh, both of the new paper pads. So I got the Watercolor Wishes, which is um, a really pretty, soft, watercolory look. Um, it has both a dark and a light to each pattern or each color I should say. So there's like a, a light aqua and then a darker one, a light blue and a darker blue and so on. Very, very pretty. Can't wait to use that. I also got the Perfectly Plaid Rainbow which is just gorgeous. It's even prettier in person I think. Um, I actually just used uh, some of these papers yesterday for a card that will be coming soon and I'm already thinking I need a second one of these because I had to use both pieces of one of the prints and because um, there's two of every print in here um, and I absolutely love it. I also decided to pick up a die set. Well first they gave me this little uh, free stamp set when you order from them which says Mahalo which is really cool and um, then they they always package it so nice. I did pick up this Stitch Tree Borders. I didn't have this one. This wasn't just released. This was released last year actually, but um, I didn't get it at that time and I thought it would be fun to use. It's kind of been on my wish list for a while, so I went ahead and picked that up. And then I did get the Zigzag Rectangle Stackables, which is from this brand new release. I love this kind of, um, it's almost like a postage stamp edge, but a little bit different um, but I thought it was really pretty and I wasn't sure which si uh, style I was going to get because they came out with I think circles, um, rectangles and squares but I ended up going with the rectangles because I use those most so and then I did pick up one pack of the the um, cardstock this is the black licorice I was out of black cardstock, so since I was making an order, I thought I'd go ahead and try that out. I've tried out several of their other cardstocks, and I really, really love the quality. It's very comparable to MFT, if you're familiar with that. Um, very, very sturdy and great cardstock. So that was my order from Lawn Fawn. Just set this stuff aside here. The next order that I got was actually from an Etsy seller. And I thought I'd go ahead and share it just in case you guys are also looking for something like this. These are the clear plastic envelopes that I use to package up my cards um, for sale. So I sell my cards at the little pottery shop where I work. And um, here's one. It just has the little um, tape. It's like adhesive right under here that you can peel off. And I like that it's on this side and not the flap because that way your cards don't get stuck when you put them in. So I just put a card with an envelope in there and slide them in and then you can just peel off that little sheet there and then fold it over and then it's all secure and packed well. So I usually put my cards on these even if I'm not going to sell them so that they just stay nice and ready to go for when I'm ready to send them out. But anyway, these are the um, A2 protective closure bags. It's 5 and 7 eighths by 4 and a half inches. And these are my old ones. I used to get them from the paper kit on Etsy, but they closed their shop. So this is from Mind the Wrap. And I'll put a link to the description bar below, but it's exactly the same. 
So there's a hundred in there, so I'll be good to go for a while. My last hundred lasted me over a year or so. And then I also picked up two rolls of washi tape. I just thought these were kind of fun. Let me see if I can open these up to show them to you. They're a lot bigger than I thought they were going to be. Um, I was expecting, they said that it was the extra wide, but, um, wow, these are really well packaged. I would have done this off camera if I would have known. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. Let's see if I can find the end. So this is more of like that tissue tape, it has that see-through quality, but I just thought that was fun with the little animals for birthdays, thought that would be really cute, and if you see right there, there is a little squirrel. Alright, so I just went ahead and pulled the wrapper off of this one off camera so you wouldn't have to wait and watch me do that, but I just thought this one was funny. Um, it's these little birds, and then it has little stories that go with them, and you guys um, probably know if you've been watching my channel for a while that I'm a writer and I just loved that idea so this little guy says wearing a hat always put him in a good mood this cardinal wants french fries on his lunch break zigzags were in vogue so there's all these little birds and little stories that go with them and I just I just thought it was hilarious so, um, like I said, these are quite a bit wider than I was expecting. Like, this is a normal size washi, right there. And then, it did say extra large, but to me, or extra wide, this is normally extra wide. So this is extra, extra wide washi, which is totally fine, because the only thing I really use it for is to seal up envelopes and packages when I mail them out. So I can definitely still use them. Um, and I, I just think the designs are really cool and, and inventive. And they had lots and lots to choose from. So again, that was from Mind the Wrap on Etsy. And then my last order was at Butterfly Reflections, Inc. And I picked up quite a few goodies from her. Um, so she just got into the shop Pretty Pink Posh. So she'll be carrying that from now on. The stickles just want to roll away. So I did get um, a couple packages of, not sequins exactly, but these are the, um, well they're not labeled, but they're, they're the little clear droplets. And they come in two different sizes, so I got the smaller and the larger size. I just thought these would be fun and different to use on cards. I've never had uh, anything like this, so I thought it'd be cool to try. And then I also got these tiny, tiny, tiny little iridescent stars. They're super pretty. I thought these would be fun to use in shaker cards, just as kind of like extra filler. And I want to make a, a shaker card using the new Lawn Fawn Astronaut set out of this world, so I thought that would be good to use with that. Also, since I really liked the inks that I had tried from Lawn Fawn, I decided to pick up three more. So there was six released in this last release, and I got five of them. So I got the Ballet Slippers, the Moonstone, and the Peachy Keen. So all together, these are the five that I have. So there was also a purple one that I did not get yet, and that was just because I don't really stamp in purple that often. Most of the time what I use these inks for is for sentiments and to stamp on the insides of my cards. To finish them off and um, I just don't use purple that often so I may get it down the road but it wasn't like an emergency right now so I'm pretty happy with this palette though I think these are really pretty I didn't have um, a good light pink and when I tested this out I was I didn't want to get the ballet slippers until I tried out the bubble gum first but it actually is quite a bright dark pink so I thought the ballet slippers would be good to have too for a pale and the peachy keen, that's just, you know, a much warmer color. And peach has been really popular, corals and peaches, um, in the last year or so. So I thought that would be good to have. I do have some papers that would match that very well. And then the moonstone, I just thought, I don't really have a light blue. So I think this is going to be really pretty. I can't wait to swatch these all out and try them out. So those were the inks. 
And then I also did pick up a couple stamp sets. I got the Bear Hugs from Reverse Confetti. This one had also been on my wish list for a while. So um, features these really cute koalas and you got some really great sentiments. I really like the font of these. And um, I'm, I'm new to Reverse Confetti. I just have two of their stamps so far. So this will add a couple more to my collection. But I just think they're really cute and um, just the, the drawings are so fun. So I did pick up the matching dies to go along with that. And then I also got the um, Mermaid Kisses. So I just thought she was really sweet. And I don't have that many people stamps. I tend to stamp critters. So when I see somebody that has like um, a good amount of hair to practice coloring hair and skin tones, um, I think that'll be really good to have in my collection. And I probably will stamp her out a few times and just kind of practice coloring to get um, a better hang of coloring hair as well. So, And right in that vein, I also did pick up the new Neat and Tangled Yo-Ho-Ho. -Ho. I think these guys are so cute. I love these little pirates. There's a little boy and a little girl. And then there's a pirate dog and a pirate cat. There's a little bird that could be a parrot, I guess. And then, sorry, some of these images are flipped around. Um, the little fish jumping out of the fishbowl. And then you've got some really nice sentiments. And again, I love how she mixes her fonts. Those are really, really cool. So, And I did get the matching dies. I also got the Kaiser Craft Wildflower 6x6. Six six. It's actually 6.5, it says. But... Um, paper pad. I just thought the palette was so pretty and soft and watercolory. And it looks like some of these are like emboss resist. So you could actually watercolor right over this. And then the color would just go where the white part is. I think, can you see how shiny that is? I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. I'll have to do a little more research on that. But um, I wasn't expecting that till I opened it up. But there's several patterns like that, so I think that must be what that's for. There's another one with a stripe. There's like a marble. That one reminds me of succulents. There's another one with like roses. Hopefully you guys can see that on camera. Very pretty. There's some sentiments. I really love this little cluster down in the corners. Oops. There's like, uh, I think they're like little flowers. Tiny, tiny flowers. Butterflies. Some plants, leaves. And then they have these pages back here that like pop out they're all perforated so those would be kind of cool I guess to use in scrapbooking or on cards so you can maybe tell a little bit better on the backs there how they're perforated and these are also like that so you could just pull those right out and use them on a card as is they're already die cut for you little tags some sentiment strips so really cool interesting and then the last thing I got was another bottle of Crystal Stickles. I absolutely love this stuff. It's my favorite color uh, stickles. And I just use it on so many projects. So my bottle was running low, so I grabbed another one. So that is my entire haul. Um, lots of fun stuff that I cannot wait to dive into and start using soon. So I hope you guys found that helpful. Stay tuned for... Lots of projects on my channel that will be using these products. I think, oh, there we go. That's everything. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Feel free to leave me a comment letting me know which of these products you'd like to see first used in a new video. And here's a couple extra videos you may also enjoy. And you can always click on my photo to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.